Hi, we're from Associated Students Child Development Center here at San Jose State University. We are here to provide high quality early education and child care for all children ages four months to five years old. So when Mia first came to the center, she um, was new to the center. She, um, from my understanding, was with her grandmother for the, you know, the whole year. Um, so she has never been at a center. And when she came to the center, she didn't know the routine or the structure of it. And it took her a while to learn that. It took her a few days to understand that and get to used to that. Um, the kids and me, um, even for myself, it was hard for, for me to have a child who's not typical in my classroom, which I've never really had. Um, and then the children were very curious and wondered a lot about her because she didn't look the same and she looked a little different. Um, and basically how I started that is I explained to them that there are differences in the world. Not everyone's the same. Um, we started going into topics about, you know, people in wheelchairs and um, pe people of different ages, um, color, um, hairstyles, everything. And they started to understand uh, more about differences in the world and so that kind of built our positivity towards Mia inside the classroom with the children. So, so some of Mia's strength, she loves to be independent. Every time she eats, so she picks up her plate and then put it in the sink and also she's very social. She loves interacting with all the children that are around her and she's so funny and she loves to dance. <laughs> And I just love seeing her. The first day, I was like so impressed because teacher Linda was her number one supporter. Oh, she loves her so much. And I just feel amazing just to see that um, her teacher supported her in everything. And that makes me really happy and excited. So, of course, like in the beginning, Mia, everyone was curious about her. You know, they kind of stayed away um, because she did have differences. Um, and when I used the buddy system, she built those friendships. Everyone wanted to help Mia. You're gonna read a book? And then sit down? No! Read a book, be quiet. No. Be quiet. Yeah, the book, the book. <laughs> Look. Oh, that was being very friendly. So the buddy system not only helped Mia, but also helped um, other children in the classroom. Um, for Maddie, example, she had a hard time in the classroom. She was very wiggly during circle time and you know, hard to focus, but once I implemented the buddy system, it kind of helped her um, have control of her own body and actually take ownership in helping Mia and being that teacher in the classroom. So it kind of helped overall, not only Mia, but the other children, so it's very helpful. Within my classroom, I um, use visual aids, I use um, sign language, um, because not all children have the language development um, up to their age or, you know, developmentally where they should be. All done, yeah, we're all done washing hands. Are you hungry? We're going to have snack pretty soon. She only been here for two months in preschool and she has learned a lot. And, and I know that's something they do here at school after they're done eating or or doing other things, they get a book and read and she tries to do the same thing at home, which is I'm like so impressed to see that in her because I know she's learning all those little things from school. I just feel like this was all also another great experience for our program to one, know what to look for when we are wanting to serve a child with special needs, um, to know that we definitely need to have the support of the parent to make this something that's going to be a success story. The children, you know, within the two months, the two months that she was here, they learned so much empathy and so much care. Um, they learned differences. They learned that everyone's not the same. Being helpful, um, caring for one another, um, it really, really, really made a positive environment with her just being here for such a short amount of time. And for her being here, it's possible for any child. And, you know, sometimes we think, like, how are we going to get these children to understand, to care, be friendly, respect one another? Um, and having an inclusive classroom, I think that teaches a lot 
and it really does help. You know, some my parents even mentioned to me that they've never introduced a, their child to a child with disability. And so when I did bring it up to the parents, explaining, you know, this is something that we need to teach them now. Whereas now the teachers and the admin staff feel more confident in using all these strategies from the teaching pyramid, the calming corner, um, finding, you know, all those social stories, the, the PDAs, like all these things that are little steps towards helping them really made a big difference in helping them with their social emotional development. And it showed too, when they did the desired results developmental profile, we had these scores from social emotional development and they were, you know, on the lower side when we started. And this spring, like they jumped and I think we've reached our goal in terms of being able to support each individual child on how to deal with their emotions. And I think it's an important aspect too because we also educated our student staff and our parents on what we're doing. That in itself gave us more confidence as a program that we can help these families. We can help all these children. We have the right tools now. I was so excited when Mia graduated from preschool. I wanted to cry. <laughs> um, when I saw her walking down the aisle and then seeing her sitting down in the chair, it was just so heartwarming. Mia Bursio? Woo! <laughs> you know, I'm looking for the future, having more children here at the center. Um, not, you know, and then a little Mia here, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, it, it de definitely changes the dynamic of the environment here, and you can feel that as a whole. So I am going to miss her, and you know, I wish her the best, and I know she's going to do great. So. so I want Mia to be like a regular person, to be included into society, just to just to see her happy. If she has any dreams and want when she grows up, she loves to dance. If she wants to be a dancer or anything, I'll be there to help her and make her dreams come true. Just want to see Mia be like a strong person and be whatever she wants to do, not be excluded from society, but be included, you know, having that label like, oh, she cannot be in this particular group because she has this, but I just, I'm going to help her reach her goals and dreams.